Down and Up in Paris by Marc Vallée. Pretty established photographer, quite renowned for his Paris at night scenes where he would just wander around the streets of Paris and he's produced a series of zines similar to this along that sort of dark subculture um, view of Paris. This one is 28 pages, it's A5, it's stapled as you can see. It's a limited edition, I think of 200, and it's printed um, in 2019. I think he launched this at the Photographer's Gallery. So here's the cover, here's the back, and you can see it's just one picture. Let's have a look inside. This is signed first edition, and this picture here on the left um, is part of, that's not that one, it is, if you look at the back, inside cover as well, and you get the gist, and that's one cover. So on the back and front, he's got two pictures. So, I think Mark was very influenced by Brassier, who's the Hungarian photographer who is really renowned for his um, Paris After Dark photography in the 30s, um, mid 30s, early 30s. And I think a lot of his work on graffiti as well, actually, um, struck a chord with Mark. And I think he was pursuing personal goals and, and, and sort of trying to find something which came out of Brassier's work. And I think I think he stumbled across this. I think he um, was out shooting in Paris as normal. And I think a graffiti... I, 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 I say artist, I say is it, they're obviously tagging. They're not making pictures or, or making sort of these beautiful... Um, images and, and sort of scenes they do in with the spray paint. And, and I think this guy, what I read in an interview with him, that uh, some guy just tagged something while he was taking a picture, and it just sort of, the, I think the penny clicked, because I think he'd been looking at Brassier's work on graffiti. So I'm under the impression that this was shot in one night, the whole, the whole book. And I think he's, as you can see, and what I'm, I'm believing that... It could be potentially the same guy who he's following. Yeah, it's got the same bag, same trainers, yeah. So what, what's he saying about it? What's he saying about the people who come out at night, people who, who do what they want to do at night, leave a mark on society or leave a mark on buildings? It, it's an interesting concept, and it's something, when, I, when I've spoken to students about doing documentary and how, how the world sort of it passes us by sometimes without us seeing it. And I sometimes say to them, go to a bus stop and look at a bus stop and you'll see that there's nobody at the bus stop and you'll think maybe every time you pass that bus stop, there's nobody there, nobody ever uses that bus stop. But if you stay in one place long enough, you will see that people use that bus stop. And if you document them, people at the bus stop, you're documenting a space in time in a sense. And it's quite deep, but I'm just trying to get the head round getting out and seeing what's in front of you. And I think this book sums it up. I think we see the tags, we see the graffiti around the city. Every major city, I think, has got graffiti or tags and, and, and pictures and stuff and imagery all over. And I think this is this guy, this is a sort of journey of a guy making his tag, leaving his mark. I don't know what he's saying. It's in French, I presume, and or it's, it's his signature name. And I'm, I'm not really sure, but I'm not really bothered about that. What I'm interested in is just the journey that he follows. And obviously, this van's very overdone. And 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 this, um, I'm just trying to work that out. I think is that tag the same as that tag there? Anyway, I guess the the interest in this is just that somebody does do this. Somebody is out there, and and Mark is doing it at night and it, it, it's sort of an underworld, it's sort of clandestine, it's after hours, it's it's the time where people retreat to home, but not everybody. And I think, you know, you might like the stuff, you might hate the stuff in, in terms of the graffiti guy and, and what he's doing, he's damaging property or, or whatever, but it doesn't matter, you know, and, and I think it's an interesting concept and, and I like that concept, I like where... I like it when people play into things and show elements of society and show elements of things which happen, which we take for granted, but we actually don't know anything about. So I think it's it, it's a sort of... It resonates a little bit in terms of interesting documentary in following something which you're not really having to discover that much or you're not really having to find answers with, you know? I, I like that. I like it. I don't... I, I like that sort of 
I like the ambiguous nature of it. So let's have a look at it. There's there are 28 pages. I haven't counted the pictures. He's got a lot of books and zines, I should say, like this. He's got a whole series of stuff. So, you know, you should check him out. It's really interesting the way he's used that one log thing without the before and after the tag. Some of you may understand more about the tags. I, I don't really understand it. I get what they're doing. I get that they go to extreme lengths to get it. I presume, I'm not really sure what camera he's on. I, I presume it's digital converted into black and white. I think it's an interesting concept. And I think, I think judging it on one book, I think you need to look at his, his whole series of works of what he concentrates on. And I think it, it, it's quite an interesting format which he's approaching. And I think, I, I think it's great that we can put out this. I think now we've got the facilities and the means to get stuff like this out. And long may it continue. And I, I think it's a nice little venture. I think it's, a, it's an interesting concept. And I'll just go back to the front of the book. This is the foreword by Rachel Segal Hamilton, who I think is a journalist. I'm pretty much sure that she was the editor of Unseen London, which was published on Hawks and Mini Press. I have got that somewhere. I'll dig that out. So that's a foreword by her. And this is the limited edition mark and pictures uh, 2018 and published and is, is sort of thank you and a little bit so you know it's a little bit about uh, Mark and, and and Rachel and his website and I'll put a link for his website below so you can check his work out and I'll see if I can find something for Rachel as well anyway yeah I, I like it it's good it's interesting um I, I'm pleased I've got a limited edition I'm not sure if there's a reprint I'm not sure how many's left but you can you can get on Mark's website, have a look at it, check it out and buy one, help support them, help photographers get out there and tell a story and give you an insight into different cultures, different parts of the graffiti world and, and things which we don't see every day. Well done. Cheers, Mark.